everyone and welcome to Jack and Cat Adventures. Today we're going to be making a turkey stuffing meatloaf. If you like Thanksgiving, this is Thanksgiving wrapped into a nice bundle. So let's get started. In a pan you're going to need three tablespoons of butter. You're going to chop up uh, five to six stalks of celery, one large onion, and we're going to pour that in to our pan. You want to preheat your oven to 375. All right, turn this on. Now we're going to add two tablespoons of poultry seasoning. Chicken dust. One bay leaf and salt and pepper. We're going to cook this till it's tender. I did add a lot of seasoning and I don't normally season my food that well, but we're actually making the stuffing and with stuffing you do want it flavorful. So let's get this until it's tender. Just keep stirring it around. It'll take a couple minutes. Just don't have it up too high so you, they don't burn. Kind of want to just steam them soft. So do you want those to be like translucent? Yes. If um, you like mushrooms, you can add mushrooms to your stuffing, whatever you like. You're going to need a bag of, um, this calls for one bag of traditional stuffing cubes by Pepperidge Farm. I could not find that, so I found the herb season. We're going to use it. It's and then, it tough to find stuffing in the middle of summer. Right, and then um, you're going to need chicken broth or stock and three to three and a half pounds of ground turkey and one egg. So that's all your ingredients. So just keep an eye on this and let it just get really soft. It smells really good. Part of my butter wrapper. Oh, a little plastic there. <laughs> yeah. All right, while you're letting your onions and your um, celery cook, let's get started on the stuffing part. So in a large bowl, make sure it's large because we're going to add everything to this bowl. You're going to need to add your Stuffing mix. And then you're going to add two to three cups of chicken broth or stock. I have two cups here. I want to see how much it looks like on my uh, stuffing because you want your stuffing moist. So this, we're going to let this sit for a few minutes and I'm going to check it and continue to check it to make sure see how moist it is. If I have to add another cup, I'll add another cup. You don't want to bite into crunchy breadcrumbs. Right, just let it set for a little bit and you know what, I, it does need one more cup. I can just tell by looking at it. You really want it to get moist and soft. Absorb all that stuff. Okay, just let that sit while you're working on your pan over here. All right, once your vegetables are done, we're gonna take out our bay leaf. Make sure you throw that bay leaf away. And we're gonna let this cool for between five to 10 minutes just so we can handle it. In the meantime, get your tur ground turkey in your bowl with your stuffing, and we're going to do one large egg in this. All right, I let my vegetables cool enough for me to handle, so I'm just going to pour it in with the um, turkey and stuffing and the one egg. All right, now I'm going to just go in with my hands, and they're clean. Okay. 
because it's just going to be easier to do it this way. And just get all that stuffing into the turkey. Come in and take a look. Now this makes a lot. Um, you can always have it if you want, but I would make both of them while you have the mess going, and then you can just freeze one. Um, you can bake it all the way through and freeze it once it's cool and wrapped good, and then just reheat it in the microwave or in a pan. You can slice pieces off and um, brown it in a pan of but with butter. It's delicious. Say pan fried with butter. Yep. Not that you know I've ever had anything done like that here. No. All right, so now mine's mixed really well. So I'm going to take and split this in half. And we're just going to make a loaf out of one. It's really easy. And I'm glad I did add that extra cup to make three cups of broth uh, to my stuffing because this is going to go into the oven at 375 for 45 minutes to an hour until it's nice and brown and um, it, the meat thermometer reads 165. Just trying to make these as even as I can. Once you make the loaves, you're going to drizzle, drizzle them with extra virgin olive oil. Just lightly, lightly drizzle. This will give it like a little bit of a crust. Okay, now this goes in the oven for 45 minutes to an hour or until the meat the monitor reads 165. All right, so here are the um, the meatloaf. It did take a full hour on mine. I wanted it nice and golden brown, a little bit crispy. You want that crispiness, um, and it's delicious. I'm going to serve it with some uh, mashed potatoes. Um, you can check out our website on YouTube, and you can get all the recipes for different potatoes that we have there you might find something like that other mashed potatoes so check it out so please like share comment and subscribe and remember you do you